Where's my fucking red carpet? I told y'all I had that fucking red carpet ready. All right? There we go. All right? Andre Ward. Sorge Kovalev. The fight sign. Tickets have been announced. Let's talk about it. So it turns out that all that bitching, crying, and moaning about this press conference that Andre Ward was not present at after his, you know, his last fight, it turned out that that was a whole lot of nothing. Mist in the air, right? That's all it was. And now, you see, sometimes... Time reveals everything, doesn't it? So here we are, right? You have all these people out here that always lecture everybody about credibility and all this crap that, that were making a whole lot of something out of that while well, you were wrong about that. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you're going to come out and say, yeah, we totally didn't read that right. Eh. Yeah, we were wrong. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm positive that's going to be the... The reaction, right? Of course it's not. Uh, so here's the thing. Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. If you are a boxing fan, first and foremost, not a Ward fan, not a Kovalev fan. Listen to me. If you are a boxing fan, you should love this fight. So it's been tweeted out by Rock Nation, by Kovalev himself. All the major boxing outlets have put it out. The fight is official. The tickets go on sale September 2nd. Did I mention that? All right. I'm excited about this fight. Now, this is how you make fights happen. This is what boxing needs. This right here. This is what we want. Because when you give us this, everything else doesn't matter, does it? It just, it just, it just doesn't matter. All right? This is what you do. This is a hell of a fight, folks. I'm high on both fighters. I really am. As much as some Kovalev fans are unbearable, right? But this is this is the fight. This is the fight. To, this is the fight that makes sense, and they're making it at the right time. This fight right here. Props to both fighters for making this fight happen for us, the boxing fans. First and foremost. Now, with that said, interesting fight. Very interesting fight. Not an easy fight for either guy. Not a gimme for either guy. But I do believe Andre Ward will win this fight. That's what I believe. All right? I think he will win a competitive fight, but I think ultimately he will win a unanimous decision against Sergey Kovalev. Everybody's talking about the power. Oh, the power. But how is he going to deal with the power? Oh, but the power, though. Oh, the power. If you're banking on the power, right, then go ahead and bank on the power, right? Put all your marbles on the power. Right, you go ahead and you do that. I'm not saying that Sergey Kovalev's power isn't real. That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, but if you believe that Sergey Kovalev is just going to walk through Andre Ward, like if this is your breakdown, oh, Andre Ward can't punch for shit. Kovalev can punch hard as a fucking mule. Kovalev has an unbelievable chin. So, so, this is what I should see. I should see Kovalev totally just walking through all Andre Ward's punches, take some if he has to, land bombs on Ward and take him out. That, that's what I should see. Right? When the fight happens, and if what happens, what I'm predicting happens, happens, I don't want to hear the following. I just don't. Oh, but Ward! You know, well, Ward was just sticking and moving, and he wouldn't stand there and trade. 
I, I don't want to hear that then. When, when I see hesitation from Kovalev to throw a shot, I, I will remind you about your breakdown. Because if the punches don't hurt at all from Ward, Kovalev ha should have no problems taking shots to Lansom, should he? He should have no problems doing it. Obviously, if Kovalev wins the fight, Kovalev deserves props for this fight. Because he would be beating a terrific fighter in Andre Ward. Let me make that clear. And let me make that clear to everybody. If Andre Ward beats Kovalev, he deserves full credit for defeating, you know, a very good fighter, an excellent fighter, and Sergey Kovalev. Let me make that very clear. I don't care which side you're on. Now, given the fact that Andre Ward is not very good, grossly overrated according to some, not very good, grossly overrated, can't punch at all. He couldn't punch out of a paper bag. So Kovalev won't even feel the shot. So there's no reason for Kovalev to try and block shots. There's no reason for Kovalev to be hesitant to throw shots in the, in the fight. None of that should happen. Okay? So just, just to make that clear. If I see anything in the fight that shows, hey, look, if he would have just taken some shots, he would have gotten in. It, it would prove your theory wrong. But here's the thing. Right? Given the fact that Ward is grossly overrated, um, he is not that good, all right? Keep in mind that you guys are the ones taking away from Sergey Kovalev's victory if he does win. And for anyone who's calling Sergey Kovalev overrated, a bum, you know, not very good, right? You're taking away from Andre Ward's victory if and when that happens. Any reasonable analysis of this fight is these are two excellent fighters and a winner deserves major props for beating an excellent fighter. The winner of this fight would, will have, in my estimation, a very good argument for being the best pound for pound fighter in the world. The winner of this fight will have the best win you know, over a fighter on their resume, okay, in all of boxing right now. If you disagree, of any active fighter, he will have the best win on his resume out of any serious active fighter right now. Andre Ward having Sergey Kovalev, all right, on his list of wins, especially a recent win, that will be a bigger victory than anything any other fighter currently in the pound-for-pound -pound discussion could claim. If Sergey Kovalev beats Andre Ward, that will be a bigger victory than any other fighter currently in the pound-for-pound -pound discussion could make, right? Could claim, that is. That goes without saying I honestly believe that it's not, that's not up for debate. This, folks, is a great fight. Now, is it going to sell? That, that's a big. That's that's a discussion. Because HBO said no to Pacquiao Vargas. Now, this is this not the only reason, right? But one of the many reasons is because they really believe in this fight. They want to, you know, focus on this matchup. Let me say this, as a boxing fan, as someone who just knows that these two guys, you know, are two of the best fighters in our sport. These two gladiators, to me, fighting for pound for pound supremacy means more to me than the amount of casuals that happen to watch the fight. It doesn't mean I don't want casuals to watch. It doesn't mean I don't want, you know, as many people as possible to watch our sport, which is why I want a network TV, right? But the reality is, this fight will probably 
not exceed over 300,000 buys. That's the reality. And that is a very high estimate. If the fight does 200,000, I'll be impressed. That that is the reality. I hope I'm wrong. I hope, you know, they still got to promote the fight. Rock Nation is very new to this. Uh, main events has not really been known for, you know, promoting pay-per-views or what have you, right? I'm sure the fight will do fine live gate-wise. I'm sure people will pack the house. Uh, I'm sure it will do fine that way. I want to see HBO really promote this. All right, do, bring 24-7 back or bring the countdown back. Like really, you know, invest in this fight, promote it. You may take a loss, but it's you have to take that chance in order for this fight to sell. And uh, any responsible boxing fan out there, and I mean this very sincerely, it has nothing to do whether you like me or you don't like me. I could give a shit, right? We have to do, I believe anyway, our duty to promote this fight. You know, it used to be at one point, it used to be that no matter our disagreements about fighters, no matter our disagreements about the fight game or fight results, the love of the sport was always a higher power. And call me naive, but I still believe that. Right? I still ultimately believe that. You know, there's some, you know, people out there with no hope and, and they, they just, they have certain things, you know, that they want to get out and that's fine. But, you know, I'm talking about just boxing discussion here. This fight is good for boxing. The fact that this fight is happening. I mean, how used, how are we just used to, you know, fights not happening? You know, and the fact that this is happening, you know, you can't complain about fights not happening, but at the same time, ignore when good fights do happen. This is a good fight, right? So here my calling, it may go into deaf ears, and, and that's fine, right? But at the end of the day, uh, I, as a boxing fan, am excited that this fight's happening, right? Have a good rest of your Saturday, guys. I'll be here tomorrow, maybe do some hangouts with some guys out there or something, but... Um, you know, with that said, give me your thoughts. What do you think? This is D-Style Boxing. Keep it boxing.